about to level up, level up. I got it all, so not enough. You wanna me, then set it up. These words sharp, cut a vessel up. They tired though, couldn't measure up. They tires low, get the pressure up. I switch gears, then I pedal up. Cause this year's where I level up. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is The Lollipop and today I am so psyched to announce that this is my new mountain bike. Now the first thing you might notice is that this isn't a Trek bike. So in this video I'm going to give uh, basically the whole story of why I bought this bike, how long it took me to do it, all these things on it, and it's kind of just going to be a little bit of a teaser on this bike. But yeah, for a quick overview, this is a 2020 Specialized Enduro Expert, so it's one level below the most expensive like $10,000 S-Works model of the Enduro. Uh, this bike was recently fully redesigned. Uh, for 2020 and then obviously there are 2021 versions of this bike out now. For those of you who are unfamiliar with the Specialized Enduro, it is a very iconic bike. Um, it used to have this kind of X-Wing frame design which I'll show a picture of on the screen right now and they had that for several several years but then for 2020 they completely revitalized the frame, completely changed it and had this low uh, pivot suspension design where the, sh the shock is like uh, down here instead of up there where the X-Wing was. It is an amazing looking bike and you can see especially in the sun how nice it looks in that raw red carbon color with the specialized logo and white it's kind of like their iconic paint scheme for bikes and I really like it so this video is going to be more of a teaser on the bike I'm going to show some nice music videos of it and then I'm going to go over all these specs on the bike and then kind of just end the video there make it short and sweet also guys check this out there is a bird's nest in our backyard palm tree I'll show a video of it right now these house finches basically made a nest together and they laid some eggs so if any of you guys have any ideas on what I should name these two birds please let me know in the comments down below all right, so on to the story of me buying this bike. This bike is used, but it isn't uh, too old. Obviously, it is a 2020 model, but it still has some chips and scratches here and there. I'll bring it into the shop a little bit and kind of fix it up and make sure everything's good before I actually start riding it. Um, there are a few issues with this bike. I'll kind of cover that in another video where I kind of talk about buying a used bike online uh, because I bought this bike before ever seeing it in person. Uh, just because I liked it that much and I got a good deal on it. This bike new does cost $6,500 before taxes. So it's an insane amount of money for a bike. I would probably never spend that much money on a bike ever. Um, but I was able to get it on a deal for around $4,700. And it is used so there are some things that are still wrong with it. Uh, the derailleur came smashed in the box and I had to fix that. The brakes definitely need to be bled. The tires aren't really holding sealant that well. Uh, the issues aren't that bad. There are some noise is coming from this pivot area right here and I think I'm going to kind of take apart the shock and uh, try to clean it up and make sure everything's good and it's going to be kind of a fun journey. I'll kind of record my journey through that and make another video on it hopefully because um, I am a bike mechanic after all and I need to start learning how to do more intense things with full suspension mountain bikes especially if I'm going to be riding them this much so I'm pretty excited for that. I obviously I mentioned this before in my videos that I have ordered a lot of different Trek bikes um, but those dates keep getting pushed back every single time um, I'm given like an estimated date for those Trek bikes uh, and it gets closer and closer to that date maybe like two weeks before it the date gets pushed back another month and it's just pretty frustrating to deal with that um, but obviously I do know like Trek is really backed up and a lot of bike companies are really backed up right now uh, and trying to keep up with all the demand from COVID and from the bike boom and not having enough uh, parts and all these things so it's definitely understandable but it's also unfortunate because I really wanted a new mountain bike especially a full suspension mountain bike obviously I've been riding on a $600 Trek hardtail for most of my life <laughs> going from a fully entry-level hardtail from Trek $600 one of the least expensive bikes that you can actually buy from Trek or most other bike brands and going straight to a $6,500 full-on enduro rig from Specialized now this is pretty insane because for seven times the price of this Trek Marlin 5 you get this bike do you get another bike you could have seven of these or one of these <laughs> the Trek Marlin 5 I always advocate for how great it is and it is a great mountain bike I absolutely love it but I did want to try something a bit more expensive more high-end uh, especially a full suspension mountain bike with better suspension better wheels better brakes better everything a dropper post all this stuff carbon fiber it's absolutely crazy how amazing this bike is obviously as you can quickly just tell like going from this 100 millimeters of suspension for travel and 28 millimeter uh, diameter wide stanchions to this fox 36 with 36 millimeter wide stanchions 170 millimeters of travel just absolutely crazy and obviously going from no travel in the rear to zero millimeters of travel right there to 160 just uh, I'm just so excited to test out this new bike. Now, 
I've been looking at bikes for months, like absolutely for so long, ever since I figured out that my Trek bikes were gonna be delayed by several months or even a year. And it's kind of cool in a way because if uh, those bikes weren't delayed, I definitely would not have ended up buying this specialized bike. So in a way, I'm kind of thankful because this bike is really cool and I'm really excited to start riding it on some trails and definitely looks amazing. I absolutely love the look of it. But now let's talk about the specs of that bike. I'm gonna kick it off with another short music montage because I'm really loving making these. So let's go. Life is moving at a mile a minute Way too driven to try the gimmicks Found my lane, they dying to mimic Written on walls like hieroglyphics I talk loud to quiet the critics Drop location, I'm buying the tickets Squad vacation, flying for business I never thought that sky was the limit Bringing me downs to find the physics Got big dreams and I'm trying to live it, yeah Alright, here is the 2020 Specialized Enduro Expert in this amazing raw red carbon fiber color. I'm gonna quickly go over the main specifications on this bike just to show you guys what part spec level it is. Uh, starting with the drivetrain, obviously you can see that SRAM XX1 Eagle chain in that oil slick uh, iridescent color scheme. That one did not actually come with a bike. The person I bought it from put it on himself, but it does have a SRAM X01 Eagle rear derailleur, which is one of the highest level derailleurs from SRAM, as well as the uh, GX Eagle cassette in the rear. It is a 10 to 51 tooth, so not the new one uh, for 2021, but it is still a nice wide range. And then we have the Truvative Descendant uh, 6K Eagle crankset, which is similar to the GX. And then a full carbon fiber frame on the spike, uh, carbon front triangle, as well as carbon rear triangle. So lots of carbon fiber there, as well as both of the rims are full carbon fiber. So you would think that that makes this bike super lightweight, but it is still a really big bike. So it is around 34 to 35 pounds, not lightweight uh, at all. But for an enduro bike, which is basically like a mini downhill bike, it is it is pretty good for that uh, in weight. And then uh, the size I got was an S2 size from Specialized, which is essentially their small size. Uh, I normally ride a medium sized bike since I'm 5'7 to 5'8 in height. But uh, for this bike, just because it's so big, I wanted something a little bit more nimble and sizing a little bit down definitely works out for that. And I do fit in the size range anyway. And then we obviously have a dropper post on this bike, which is the X-Fusion Manic dropper post. And then we have the SRAM Code RSC brakes, which are basically their downhill brakes, actually. Just a really big brake fluid reservoir, which is really cool. So a lot of good stopping power on those. Up front, we have the Fox 36 Performance with 170 millimeters of travel, which is absolutely insane, as well as the Fox Float DPX2 Performance in the rear with 160 millimeters of travel. So definitely a really big enduro bike meant for a lot of crazy stuff. It's definitely gonna go downhill really fast. Uh, from what I've heard on reviews and other things like that. And then I'm sure a lot of you also know about some of the specific specialized features that are really cool on their bikes, like the swap box, uh, ooh, the, the swap box down tube storage. So you can take off the bottle cage right there and then kind of see inside the frame with the SWAT tool storage uh, kit right there that you can put like inner tubes or patch repair kits or basically anything you want down here, cliff bars <laughs> for food or anything like that. And then we also have that same SWAT storage in the top right here. So you can kind of pull out this multi-tool that's in the headset that looks really cool. It has a Torx bit, uh, some hex wrenches, um, just basically some stuff that might help you uh, if you're stranded out on the trail or need a multi-tool and don't have one. All right, so what is the deal with this bike? Why did I buy this bike over any other bike that I could have bought? <laughs> um, and that is due to a lot of things. Actually, the main reason that I picked this bike over some other bikes that may have been way less expensive is the person who was selling it actually responded to me and actually was willing to sell it to me pretty quickly. Most of the other bikes I was looking at from other bike brands like Commonsol or Transition or Yeti or YT or obviously Specialized in Trek as well on the used bike market, I just, I would message people, they would either sell it before they got to me or I was just a little too late or they just wouldn't reply at all or would be really slow at replying. I just wasn't able to secure a deal on any other mountain bike that I wanted. Basically every site I could find where I could find a bike, I would try to find a good deal on one. And I messaged probably like 50 different people at this point for bikes and I wasn't able to secure a deal on any of them except for this one. This was the first one and the only one. So in the end, I'm definitely really happy that I ended up getting a bike. Still can't get a Trek bike for a while, but at least I do have a really, really killer bike. And hopefully I can get some really good comparisons in the future, uh, comparing this bike to my Marlin 5 as well as all the other Trek bikes I eventually get. Um, hopefully soon, <laughs> but if not, I still have this bike to ride and enjoy for months and months to come. I don't think I'm going to sell it anytime soon or if at all. Um, it all depends on how 
the truck bikes I get ride and all that stuff. So I'll definitely do some good comparisons on those. But with that guys, I hope all of you enjoyed watching. I really appreciate every single one of you guys. I would not have been able to get this far and get this nice of a bike without this YouTube channel, without all of you guys' support. So I definitely really appreciate every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll get a, a bunch of new bikes in the future and review those as well, especially the 2021 models. But besides that, thank you guys so, so, so much for watching and liking and subscribing and all that good stuff. So ultimately, I hope you enjoyed this video and remember to keep biking.